does it feel being a Wait, so I've got Lexi in year two. She wants to know how old were you when you first started playing rugby? Uh first I started I reckon I started playing rugby at our backyard with my brothers, maybe when I was 11, 12. Oh yeah. But, yeah, but not really into it until I went into high school. So yeah. All right. And then George in year two says, How many times a week do you go training? Oh, a week. When, when the season starts, even the preseason, um, it's pretty much every day. And we got uh, sometimes the weekend off. So we got Saturday, Sunday off. So, yeah, so pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, David, also in year two, he wants to know Have you always wanted to play rugby? Uh, yeah, I've, I've always, like all over the place, just uh, kind of like athletic kids, just because all my brothers and, and sisters were into sports as well and, and I'm the baby of the of the of the family so I just grew up watching them playing all sort of sports like uh rugby volleyball uh, a little bit of football as well so but I was oh, more yeah. into uh, rugby so I've always wanted to become what my brothers were and then when I was older I wanted to be a professional player so pretty much yeah I've always wanted to be all right we've got one from Kemi also in year two he wants to know are you allowed to eat sweet things uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm always in trouble with eating those sweet stuff, but yes, you are allowed in in some days if you're like a pretty much once a week, yeah, they'll, they'll give you a little bit of space there yeah, to have a little bit of sweet, not not like how I used to have it every day. So <laughs> now they cut it to just once, once, once a week, it's 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 good enough. So, um, and even after when you play a game. You can you can allow yourself to have a bit of sweets after after the game as well. So yeah. What's your favorite? What's your go-to? Uh, after the game, I'm going straight to KFC, but I'm a chocolate man. So <laughs> M's Kit Kat, that's that's my go-to. So yeah. Uh, Emily in year five wants to know how did you get interested in rugby? Is it just from your brothers and your family? No, uh, I think it's it's a family thing. Just seeing my brothers and even even some some of my mates and. Uh, watching and watching TV and seeing like how how good they become. Like obviously they get paid and uh, they, it looks like they're enjoying what they were doing. Like watching those. Uh, I was a big fan of John Alamu and then got into right. rugby league and I was a big fan of of my Manu Vasuve. So just watching them and seeing them around people was just feels amazing. And but uh, it started from just watching my brother, seeing my brother smashing people and and yeah, he's getting. <laughs> My brother's getting smashed as well, so it was kind of like fun. So, yeah. What's your um, favorite other sports apart from rugby? That's from Oliver in year five. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm really bad at it, so I'll go with volleyball. I enjoy playing volleyball. It's like back back in Tonga, you gotta you gotta find people playing touch or playing a bit of volleyball as well. So touch is kind of like pretty much is rugby, but I kind of like uh, playing a little bit of volleyball as well. I'm, I'm bad at it, but just enjoying it. But, but uh, since I moved here, I'm kind of like into golf as well. A few of the boys who play golf, I am absolutely bad at that as well, so, but I just enjoy it. So, yeah. Great. So, uh, Ava in year six, if you didn't make it into rugby, what would you be doing instead? Uh, there's, there's a great question there. Um, I'm always, I'm always like, uh, I'm always around other people, other kids as well. So, yeah, I knew if I still, if I was still in Tonga, I'd probably still play for a local team in Tonga and just help, helping out uh, youths and trying to make their dream. But for myself, I've always wanted to help help out other people, um, uh, other kids and, and, and youth. So I reckon I would be like working on that area, like, look, um, helping out youths and, and young kids that are not um, going in the right direction. So, yeah. Uh, Reese in year five, how long have you played for Leeds Rhinos? Uh, this is going going to be my third year. So I'm, I'm excited. This is my last year of contract. So I'm, I'm excited to for another, hopefully, another big year and hopefully to stay here a bit longer. So, yeah. Okay. A bit longer. Uh, anime in year five. Do you know any famous people who aren't rugby players? Uh, nah, not not really. I've, I just know a few few uh, people that sings as well. Um, that's a bit of boxing as well. I, I say that I'm good friends with them, but they probably don't think so. So uh, I say, I've met them a few times. So I just say, oh yeah, they're my friends now. But uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, it's, I've 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 met uh, Joseph Parker a few times. Uh, he he fought um, Anthony Joshua. So he probably doesn't think that he's my friend, but I, I call him my mate. <laughs> but um, yeah, 
and then a few other singers. So, but yeah. Did you meet the royal family and your flip flops? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the prince. Uh, yeah, so it's good. <laughs> uh, James in year six. Have you played another sport? Uh, yeah, in, in high school I played football, a little bit of football. Obviously not for me that. Uh, I played a little bit of, of volleyball as well. Um, in New Zealand I, I got, uh, they just asked me, because I was in scholarship, they asked me to to fill in their weightlifting team, so I jumped in there as well. So it, it was quite fun. So, yeah. As, as last question, it's not got a name to it, is um, when you were five, like me, what did you want to be when you grow up? Oh, big question. Uh <laughs> Uh, I grew up in Tonga, so there was there was nothing much around. Just it's just for myself when I was a kid, I always wanted to be my, my oldest brother. Uh, obviously, I've got uh, two older brothers, or uh, three. I've got three older brothers, but I've always wanted to be my my oldest brother because he was always a, a big guy, uh, very athletic, and he, he was always like good to us. So I've always I always looked look up to him, and I always wanted to be like him. And even my dad and my mom and dad as well. I've always wanted to become them, so I was obsessed with them. To be honest, when I was that uh, that age, so uh, and then and then grew, growing up in Tonga, there was hardly it's a lot different to grow, growing up here. Um, it, not 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 in a bad way, but just like uh, we didn't have that much source, so that I know much what I need to do out there. So yeah, I found one more question as well. It's last one. Um, how do you keep healthy? Uh yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, for myself, I've I've, I've let my girl, my, myself, uh, let let myself go out a few times. But coming back in your training, you, it's just how you, you you manage to watch what you're eating, uh, and obviously trying to do a little bit of training now and then every day when you're not coming into training like off season. So uh, yeah. trying trying to do something uh, active at home, and and the the main thing is they're always. I know this by heart because I, I get told pretty much every year to watch what I eat. It can all be <laughs> a little sweet, but I reckon that's, that's the main thing is to just try to balance out what, what you eat and uh, go towards the, the healthy bit. So you can always have a treat. Like I said, maybe once or twice a week, but not every day like me. So, yeah. Yeah. Do a bit of TikTok dancing as well. And that as well. That's part of my... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen quite a lot of your videos. You're quite good. Um, yeah, that's all those questions. Um Thanks for taking time to talk to all kids. They really appreciate it. Anytime, mate.